welcome to Loco Nation. The lush greenery that surrounds me is situated in Rama 4. It is part of Oka House, a residential development by Sand Street inspired by Japanese culture. As you can see, the concept is relaxation and nature. This is because Oka means hill in Japanese, and this is influenced by the hills and the bamboo forestry of Japan. This is great because it shows us exactly what Oka House would be in the future, and this is just one of their many green facilities that they're going to offer. Let's have a look inside. I've just stepped into the Oka House Sales Gallery located on Rama 4 Road. Rama 4 Road is parallel to Sukhumvit Road. And if you want to get access to Sukhumvit, you can easily get there because of all the many side streets available along the road. Surrounding their property, you have numerous grocery stores such as Big C and Lotus, two very large grocery stores where you can find everything you need. For more high-end luxury items, you can head to Prompong, to M Quartier or M Korim, which once again, isn't very hard to get to. Because of the location of Oka House, there are numerous grade A office buildings such as Malinon and Pirach Tower, all close to the property. In the future, there will be four large mixed-use development projects. Starting from Samyan Midtown, it will be a mixed-use complex near July University aimed at attracting the younger generation. Second is the redevelopment of Dusit Tani Hotel Bangkok. It will be a joint venture between Central Group and Dusit located in Silom, Bangkok CBD. Third is One Bangkok. When it's completed, it will be the highest valued mixed-use development in Bangkok. Last and closest to Oka House is Park, one of the greenest developments in the area. The closest BTS station to Oka House is BTS Tongla, but to see exactly how long it takes is transportation time. From Tongla BTS station, take exit 2. The quickest way is to hop on a motorcycle taxi, which you can easily find. Head through Soy 36 until you reach Rama 4 Road. Get off there and a short walk to your right hand side will lead you to Oka House. When Oka House is completed in March of 2021, this is what the building will look like. Out of all the developments in the house brand by Sansory, Oka House is the only high rise comprising of one 47 story building with 1,178 units in total. There are three unit types, starting from one bedroom up to three bedroom. The first seven stories are for parking and the remaining 40 are residential floors. The building's facade has a wood-like design and the extended windows are the rooms with bay windows. There is a garden and play area designed by Sumitivate Hospital with the purpose of helping young kids develop. Co-sharing facilities such as the co-working space and co-kitchen area are located on the 47th floor. The swimming pools and exercise facilities can be found on the 8th floor. Alright, so this is the first show unit. It's a one bedroom unit with a bay window size of 34.75 square meters. This is just one of the smart features available at Oka House. This will be present in the lobby so that res uh, guests or residents can come in, they can click the doorbell, you can call the room, for example, room number 213, floor 5, apartment 1, and you click call. It's connected to a tablet inside the room and the resident can click accept and the person can come in. Alright, so all units at Oga House come with a ceiling height of 2.7 meters. Electrical appliances are all included, it's fully furnished. The wallpaper, there's no wallpaper here, so it's going to be neutral white walls. Loose furniture such as sofa and chairs all depend on your furniture package. So the kitchen in this one, as you can tell from the material, it's, it's fancier and overall specifications are better than most places. Nice finish to it. The sink, I think, yep, the sink is located back here. Keeps the minimal look, standard. Teka material and some more cupboard. Yep, more space back here. And all these, once again, depend on your furniture package. Let me have a look at that. 
All right, so the Igloo Home is another smart feature that is used in sensory developments. So what this can do is you can control your, your lock on your smartphone. You can set one-time passwords so that guests or maids or friends can use that to come in and access your room. All controlled via your smartphone, so you won't have to be here at all. Another cool feature is the door ventilation. So you can open and close this to allow airflow to go through, keeping your room fresh, not humid, and smelling nice. Back here, typical shoe cupboard or storage space. Okay, moving into the living room. Now, as you can see behind here, this is the room that comes with a bay window. A bay window is great for people who like working in their sun, having a nice view. So you can put a working table here or you can put a day bed, just like a place to relax and read a book. There are two windows located on the left and the right here. Let's check it out. Sturdy, solid glass. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the cars outside. But when you close it, the sound is, the sound reduces dramatically. So it's soundproof, which is another cool option. Now the living room is, it's more, it's longer than it is wider. So it's a lengthier room. There's it's enough space for me to do what I need to do. It might be a bit close to the TV, but in the actual room, this wall won't be here. So you have more space. So in the living spaces, there's no air con because it's hidden, it's a central unit. So this just keeps the place looking more, more clean and more minimal. It's also something that's used in the more higher end developments in Bangkok. So it's, it's another cool feature. Let's move into the bedroom. Okay, so the bedroom here, is just a typical standard bedroom. Then that depends on what you need. So here, full height window, glass sliding door. Same material used as the window outside. So once again, sturdy, rigid, soundproof. Opens on both sides as well. This is where they put the washing machine, aircon unit. Ah, there's a door here as well that leads to the living room. So it can be accessed from two sides, which is cool. Makes moving around more convenient. Closet space, closet space. There should be a bit more, but... Moving into the bathroom. Now the first thing that I can see is they've used large tiles again. It makes it more elegant and clean, minimal look. The material used, good tempered glass. Comes with two showers, a rain shower above and normal shower. Storage space there for stuff. This is bath toilet sorry comes with a washlet controlled electronically it's cool the medicine cabinet here is just a typical medicine cabinet but what they have here is that there is a Bluetooth speaker located in the back so you can connect that listen to music jam in the bathroom just like another cool feature that this place has to offer because there's so many smart technologies and moving towards an age where technology becoming a vital part of our lives. So this is great. It's really for the new generation. Let's close this real quick. Yep. Okay. So overall, the interior, the layout, the decoration makes your room look very cozy, very warm, and very fuzzy. So have a look. This is another layout of the one bedroom unit. Now, specification wise, everything is pretty much the same. The only difference is that the balcony and the bathroom can only be accessed by one entrance. The living spaces are also clearly divided. So you have the kitchen here, the living room here, and the bathroom and the bedroom. The bedroom in this layout has more space. There's more closet, more storage space, and a little area for a day bed too. The window is full height, but it's in different parts, so it's not as clear. For people that don't use a daybed, you can get rid of the daybed. You can push the bed towards the window, 
which creates more room for you to put a working table or more closet space. In this layout, the bathroom might look a bit smaller, but that's because it comes with a bathtub. Everything else is the same. In this two bedroom unit, the kitchen is a bit bigger and it's open just like the other two rooms, but the glossy finish here will actually be the same finish as the other two previous rooms. This island is also not included. In this layout, the, the room is in the middle. In reality, this would be a concrete wall that separates the living room from the smaller bedroom. In this show unit, the bedroom was designed as a working slash dining room, but there is enough space to fit a bed perfectly as well. The master bedroom comes with an ensuite bathroom and a corner window. Oka House offers more than just peace and serenity. In terms of location, Rama 4 Road is parallel to Sukhumvit Road, so places such as Prompong and Tongla can all be easily accessed via side street roads. Although the development isn't attached to the BTS, you'd be glad to know that there's a golf cart shuttle service that runs to and from the development. If you drive a car, the expressway is also not too far down the road. Surrounding the property, you have numerous office buildings, supermarkets, and restaurants that are all within easy distance. The materials used at Oka House and the wide range of smart home technology all make your life much more convenient. And in terms of facilities, the emphasis on nature and the abundance of green space adds a nice relaxing feel. In the future, there will be four large mixed-use development projects along Rama 4 Road, which would definitely bring more life to the area and definitely attract more developments in the future too. For more information, head to sansory.com and if you have any comments, suggestions or places you'd like us to go to, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day.